Okay, does your wife have a mom and a dad? Yes, sir. Okay, if one of them had a fucking heart attack today, and it was $250,000 to keep them alive, do you want to have the money in the fucking bank? Yes, sir. Yes, we got to push. It ain't for the big ass house and car and shit. It's because we need money, so we can have choices. Listen, dude, there's, there's something I'm going to teach you guys today, okay? It's just how to build a big badass fucking life. Either you want it or you fucking don't. Does that make sense? Yes. Hey, dude, it's your life, okay? Look, I'm just telling you, I don't care about money, okay? I care about changing people's lives. But if you want to talk about money for a minute, I got nine figures in the fucking bank. Okay, everybody write down nine zeros. Go ahead, write them down. Come on, write down nine. Let's, let's write down nine numbers. Let's write down nine numbers. Act like you wrote up to the ATM. Write down nine numbers. You can write down any number you want, as long as there's nine of them. Cool. How would that feel if you pulled up to the bank account? That's great. No, that's not great. That's called putting a financial fence around your family and knowing if something happens to you, your family's in a good place. You guys feel me? Yep. You guys want to be able to do that? Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm serious. You guys really want to be able to do that? Let's go. Now listen to what the fuck I tell you today because I did it. And so if you're one of these motherfuckers that's arrogant, that's in here, and I mean it, you're arrogant, you're entitled, right? You're a little fucking prima donna. You think you know the way? Let's go ahead and write down the way that you know, okay? Right? Is your house paid off? I always ask, is your house paid off? Okay? What do you owe? How much money do you owe? How much assets do you have in cash? My whole life is cash. Why? Because I'm really f***ing good about building a team. The greatest thing that I am is about, I, can know, I know how to build a team. And so we're going to start out with how to build that, okay? What do you owe? How much do you make, right? What are your investments? Okay, there's all these things that I look at all these people and everybody lives in this fake imaginary land that everything's okay until someone gets sick or someone dies and reality comes in and you gotta face the truth right here. Truth, truth, I am fucked. You hear me? You guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, I'm gonna speak slow a little bit so he can understand, but I want everybody to understand this, okay? I don't care where you were born. I don't care how much money you make right now, okay? Yesterday's wins are irrelevant. You guys got me? Everybody write that down. Yesterday's wins are irrelevant. I'm gonna show you guys how to reprogram and rebuild something really cool. Okay, so all of you guys need to understand something. This is first and foremost, f skill, f all that. None of that matters yet. I'm going to tell you what matters. If we're going to build killers, which is what we want, right? Do you guys want to build killers? Yes, sir. You want to build people that are literally going to fucking break records every fucking day? Yes, sir. You have to build. So here's what we're going to do. Ready? Everybody draw a circle on your piece of paper. And I'm a visual person, so I write everything down, okay? We're going to need to create an environment, okay? We're going to need to build an environment. What does that mean? This is the company. And if we're going to build a great company, the company has to have an environment that people have to feel safe in. Does that make sense? People have to feel like it's a hero making machine. Like it makes f***ing badasses. Okay, what do we do? We make people feel powerful. Okay, so right, feel powerful. That's how people feel in this environment. Okay? Um, this, this basically, guys, if you want to build the greatest company on planet Earth, which is what you guys all want to build, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you want to have 100 guys that work for you that all can produce like a and you're getting paid off every one of them? Are you sure? 100%. Yeah, number one, we're going to have to get your arms bigger. <laughs> can you do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's going to be step one. Number two, you're going to have to become a cult leader. Do you guys understand? Yes, sir. Listen, I'm going to tell you Leadership 101 is how to operate and build a cult. What kind of people do you want in your cult? People with the same beliefs. No one is allowed inside of the company if they don't have the beliefs of that company. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. This is really important because this is a time where I'm going to teach you what we must do with others, but then also you get to do what's called self-assessment. Okay, what does that mean? 
That means look in the mirror. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Okay, look in the mirror and find your holes. Okay, this is you. This is you. And you have holes. And these holes, if we can fix them, create buckets of cash and winning. Does that make sense? You guys get it? Yes. Okay, so as I teach, you can't be one of these people to go, oh yeah, no, I need loyal but You're not fucking loyal. That goes over here, and then you're like, I need to teach that too. Guys, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. Every one of you, there's, there's one thing that has to change in this room for all of you. You have to change your identity. What is your identity? What is that to you? Uh, my identity is what I stand on, it's what I believe in. It's how, it's I, who, how it's, I treat people. That's who you think you are, just right? Dude, watch. I'm just giving an example, okay? Like, we're here right now. We have, like, emotion. There's people around you. You're surrounded by good people. But watch. If I cover your eyes, no one's around you. Who does he think he is? Who do you think you are? I wake up in the morning. I get out of bed. I haven't hit the cold plunge. I didn't work out yet. I haven't got to listen to any on YouTube to get me all fired up. I haven't done anything. At that moment, I, did, I get to feel who I am. Like, I know who I am. I'm a fucking leader. And so the next thing that I do, watch, I wake up out of fucking bed. My phone's right there. I don't go to my phone. My phone doesn't own me. I'm not a fucking addict, bro. Okay? Drug dealers that use drugs aren't in the drug business for very long. Okay? That phone is a tool to make you money. That tool doesn't fucking own you. Nothing owns me. Nothing is going to be a vice or a stronghold for me. Does that make sense? I own this shit. Nothing owns my mind. Understand this. I wake up in the morning. I wake up. This is all of you guys. You got to understand this. You wake up in the morning. The next thing you do shows me what kind of man, what kind of woman are you are, what kind of leader you are. Okay? Let me tell you what I do. I wake up. I get up. I kiss my wife. First thing in the morning. Babe, I love you. Let's go f***ing kick ass. I brush my teeth because nobody wants to be around anybody with stinky f***ing breath. As soon as I brush my teeth, I hit mouthwash, I walk right out of my door. I go right into the cold plunge. I don't even fucking think. If I was to think, man, do I really wanna go get in that freezing cold fucking water? No, dude, and then I start talking myself, I start reasoning, I start negotiating, I start, I start fucking going to a different place. I'm a leader, I know this. Everyone that I talk to all day long, I want them to listen to me. I want them to look up to me. I want them to see me as the example. I want, when I tell them to do something, I want them to go do it because I want them to see moral authority in me. I want them to be like, you know what? I think he fucking does what he says he's doing, so I'm gonna fucking listen to him because he looks like he keeps his word. Dude, did you know that people can look at you and tell if you're a fucking liar? You know, people can look at you and they can tell if you're full of shit. They can look at you, they can tell almost everything just by seeing your eyes by seeing the way you carry yourself, by seeing how much you appreciate fucking life. Am I right? Yeah. Have you ever been around somebody that's loved their fucking life? Yeah. And you're like, I don't know, man. I just want to listen to them because they seem like they fucking know what's going on. Here I am wondering what to fucking do, and it seems like they know what to do. So we follow them. Does that make sense? Dude, this, this is why, like you guys being here today, I don't know what you expected to learn, but I'm gonna tell you what, I, what I'm gonna teach you. Number one, you gotta change your identity if you wanna change your life, okay? Every one of you in here, every one of you in here, my number one gift that I could give you would be for you to find your best self. That's it. Because your best self creates your best life. And if I can't get you to your best self, who gives a about objection handling? 
Who gives a fuck about role play? Who gives a fuck about being the boss or the position or the title or the pay plan? None of it even matters. You're not who you need to be to even make any of that make sense. Okay? I, I, I at 39 years old, right, looked in the fucking mirror. I don't know how old all you are in here. At 18 years old, I got into sales. I was broke. I, by the time I was 20, I learned to make about a half a million a year. I got really good at sales. But you know what happened? Got fucking fat. Why? Because everybody around me was making money and all they wanted to do was fucking make money and nobody wanted to work out and nobody wanted to eat clean. We just wanted to work and fucking eat because we wanted to go work more. And so we fucking ate, we didn't work out and we worked and we looked up and we were all fat fuckers. I fucking hated that because that wasn't me. When I get dressed in the morning, remember, like I'm about to go start my fucking badass day and I'm putting my fucking pants on and I'm like, I'm like, I don't even want to look in the mirror when I get dressed. I just want to come over here and look, look at the fucking closet wall because I don't want to see that. Shit. Dude, you don't want to do that. If you're going to live an elite life, you're going to fucking want to become human excellence, excellent at everything, okay? So I want to like who I am. By the way, the more I like me, the more I, the better I am to other people. If you don't like you, if you genuinely don't like you, you're not going to be very good to very many other people. Hey, if you don't love you, what is in a cult? Lots of love. Dude, remember I said circle of safety? People feel safe in here, right? When people are around you, if I show you lots of love, man, look, dude, if every time you're around me, I'm like, what are your numbers? What are your numbers? Where are you at? Bro, you don't think I give a fuck about you. You know I don't give a shit about you. You're just another number. Just like every other company out there, you're just another number. Dude, you gotta show people like that you that that like you're willing to go through things with them that they've never had anyone else go through with them. You gotta show people that you're someone when there's trouble, you don't like need courage. You have courage. Your number one thing that you have as a leader is courage. You always have the ability, if I'm talking to you, right? And like there's a problem, if I'm a real leader. I talk to you about it. Now, I, I, I don't confront him. I communicate with him. Notice the difference. Hey, did you do this? Hey, dude, what, what, what happened with that deal? Like, dude, I know you. I know how you are. That's not you. I, tell me what happened. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, we're going to figure it out. But what happened? Okay, heart. One has heart. One is heartless, okay? Over here, this environment, remember this. Each one of you in here, you're all individuals, okay? You guys are all, um, or a company is built up of individuals. These are all individual people. I have a company, a company here, this is the Elliott Group. So let me explain my company. This is Elliott Army. Elliott Army has 100 people inside of it. Every person is a different character. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm f***ing me, dude. You walk out here and you see a whole, a totally different fucker, right? And you're like, well, he's not like Andy. No, 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 listen. That's a hero-making machine. He feels powerful. He's, he's, he is a different character. He's a guy that, you know, like, he has human excellence. He has standards. When he's talking to somebody, he keeps his fucking word. His belief is, is everything. We're all different, right? Your character's different than his character, right? But you guys can all be in an army and all have different character. But you all have the same beliefs. A cult is a group of beliefs. It's like this. In a church service, do they have Christians over here and then Catholics over here in one room? Or do they have Catholic service and Christian service? Do Catholics, do Catholics go to the Baptist churches? And do the Baptists go and serve at, at, the, at the Catholic churches? No, they find their people. Does that make sense? I don't know what your belief is. I have no idea, okay? But do you have kids? Yes, sir. Good, you love your kids. So you wouldn't hang out with people that beat their kids. Or you wouldn't hang out with kids with people that had no kids and they're alcoholics. No, we have kids. So who do you want to hang out with? people who have kids and love their fucking kids okay so like we find us so number one in this room today we have to identify what is us 
And then number one, we must become the elite version of that. And by the way, all of you in here, listen, I'm gonna explain one thing, super important. You see this cult when we build, we build it, this culture, right? This environment, this circle of safety that we build. You're all going to fuck up. You're all, you're gonna fuck up, you're gonna fuck up, you're gonna fuck up, and you're gonna fuck up. We all must understand we are all going to f up forever. But will we decide to stick together through the fuck-ups? That's the question. That's why you call it a brotherhood, because, you know, you love your brothers, right? Okay, you fight with them sometimes, right? Well, if somebody came against the family, would you guys come together? That's the call. It's not fucking Christmas every day. What it is, is that we make a pack that no matter what happens, okay, I'm gonna explain how this company goes to a whole fucking other level. Are you ready? Yes. We have to see further than today. Here's today. Okay, some of you are like, how much money am I making? Who's on my fucking team? Nobody's being, shut the fuck up. Okay, listen, big picture, bitch. Okay, what does big picture mean? I can't even fucking spell picture. How do you spell that? I don't know why that's so, let me spell it again. Is that right? Damn. Hey. There's no T. There's no T in between the T. All right. Anyways. Hey, that's one of those things where you're like, like you can't spell a word like who? You're like, how? You're like, it. never mind. Doesn't matter. Remember, I didn't make good grades in school, but I know how to close people and make money and build a fucking cult. So everybody understand this. Today, if we look at everything today, how do we feel? Emotional. Am I right? It's like everything that, oh, we just had a charge back. Oh, f we're in trouble. We're not going to make it. I'm not going to be able to pay for this. Oh, my God, I need to go sell something. It's like, dude, your f***ing anxiety is killing everybody. Okay? Stop, man. Are you after a big life? Okay, cool. You're going to have big problems. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Big life, big problems. Little f***ing life, little problems. You don't want big problems anymore? Fine. Have a little life. Go over there with the little life people. But these aren't little life people in our group. These are people over here, when we have problems, you know what we do? We fix them, we solve them, we move forward, and then we're fine. But we don't panic. Every time one of you guys gets in a situation where something happens and you panic, dude, you literally self-sabotage your whole life. Does that make sense? How many times do you guys see people in your company self-sabotage your whole life? Right? When they're selling, they're hot. When the cancellations come, they burn to the ground. You guys know what I mean? Watch. There's this thing I call big picture. Everyone in my company, everyone in my company, they know where they fit in this company big picture. Okay? How old are you? 36. Watch. This is where you fit in. If I was the leader of this company, which are all leaders, it would go like this. You're 36 years old. Okay. Do you have a family? I got a kid. You got a kid? Yeah. Girlfriend, boyfriend? with you. That was a joke. I'm just trying to make you laugh. Yeah, yeah. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, I got, I got a girlfriend. You got a girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Are you serious or no? Uh, serious. Uh, we got not. Okay. You got a kid. How old? Uh, four. Okay. Four. Do you see this kid a lot? Every couple months. Okay. Every couple months you see this kid. Do you want this kid that you don't see a lot? Do you want this kid to watch you grow into a badass, make history, and do big shit? and create a nice life for him. How old is he? Four. He's four. When he gets a little bit older, he'll start to understand who his dad is. Does that make sense? Okay, you need to change every day so you become his hero. Where he's like, man, I wanna spend more time with my dad. Does that make sense? Okay, also financially, how much money do you wanna make? You wanna make a lot of money? Yes. If you wanna make a lot of money with finances, you also wanna be happy too. Am I right? Do you want to be around people that you like who you're around, yes or no? Yes. Okay, cool. What if I gave you money, but you weren't happy and you're around and people, would you take it? Okay, so then that proves if you're around great people and you love your life, even when the money's off, big picture, we still stay. Why? Because if we do that, it'll come back around. But when we don't think big picture over here, when we're emotional, money gets up, we forget about the 
people that we're with. We forget about who we're around. We forget about the four-year-old we want to build a life with. You know what we do? We burn our life straight to the ground. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. You know what you start doing? You start doing what guys start doing. You're in a relationship with a chick, you start checking out another girl over here. And the next thing you know, you wonder why this shit happens and why you burned your deal to the ground. So what happens? Dude, there are a million jobs out there. You guys don't want a job, do you? You guys want a family. That's, this is what you want. You want to get rich? You get it with the family. That's how you get it. But you guys don't have this right now. You guys, you guys love each other, but you guys don't have a cult yet. What are the core values? What are the standards that we believe in in this company? What are they? And by the way, once we decide what they are, then we are that way in the community, we're that way at home, and we're that way at work. Because that's who we are. And then big picture, we stay that way and we stay together forever. And we keep growing, we keep getting better. Okay, does that make sense? Okay? Like, like, like the more you do something, you bet, the better you get at it. The more you guys can, the longer you guys can stay together, the better you guys should be getting together. The longer that you guys stay together, the bigger the team should be growing. Does that make sense? Look, I'm gonna tell every one of you, okay? If you guys wanna build this company, it's made up of a bunch of different people. Here's what I see. Because you guys are all in the sales orgs, you're all in sales, right? You wanna be the badass? He wants to be the badass, you want to be the badass, and what accidentally happens is everybody is trying to stand out individually. And you know what happens? You burn the culture to the ground because you stand out. Your goal is to prove to everybody that you're great and to show them what greatness looks like. But also your goal is to build your team up to also be great. Does that make sense? Okay, listen, I'm going to tell you something. The devil, who believes in God? Raise your hand. The devil, here's what he wants. He wants to pick you guys off one by one. Okay? There's this, there's this saying. It says, if you get four bulls with horns and the lions are coming around, if four bulls literally all go back to back with the horns out, they, they can't come in because they get the horns. Does that make sense? Any way you try to attack them, four bulls can keep off a pack of lions, but they have to stay this close. Does that make sense? Does everybody understand? Okay, if there's four bulls, and they got horns, and they all back in, and they put their horns out, okay? If the enemy is out here, when they charge in, they get the horns. Watch. All of a sudden, this little fucking bull goes over here. They sneak in. They bite that one from behind. They sneak in. They get this one from the side. And then this one over here, because he left, he's fucked anyways. Because they'll pick his ass off over there. This is what companies do. Every time you have a problem, it is an opportunity to grow closer. Every time. You know how you guys get closer than ever? It's not by cashing big checks. It's by fixing big problems together. Listen, you guys wanna really build a big life where you can make a lot of money, he can make a lot of money, he can make a lot of money. You're going to have to do it in a company somewhere. You can't make money on your own. You gotta have a, com a company. It doesn't have to be your company. You just have to be a part of a company. Well, if you guys don't build it, who the else is going to give it to you? No one. Dude, listen, when I quit my job and I, I, 
I went and looked for a f***ing company. Everywhere I went, no one gave a f*** about my wife. No one gave a f*** about my kids. Everyone was like, this is how much money you can make. Do you want to make a lot of money? And I was f***ing really good at what I did. But I did 20 years of working as an individual out here getting picked off by the enemy forever. And this time, I go, f*** it. We're going to build Elliot Army. And you know what I did? I didn't hire anybody that was ever in the coaching industry. I didn't hire trainers and all that sh You know I went and hired? People that were fucking underdogs. I love this saying. It's called the comeback kid. It's the motherfucker who wants to come back in life. And they got something to prove. This guy has something to prove. This girl has something to prove. And I had something to prove. At 39 years old, I told you I looked in the mirror. I didn't fucking like me. And I go, that's it. That's it. I made 2.5 million when I was 39 years old. And I fucking hated me, which I'll tell every one of you. Go make as much money as you want, okay? But if you don't like the way you look, if you don't like your internal core ethos on the way that you feel about life, your perspective on how you see things, the way you're taking care of your family, your children, your wife, yourself, your team, you're going to hate you. You're all made to have a good relationship with God. Okay, all of you. God isn't a Sunday deal. It's an all-the-time thing. What is love? Love is God. So what do we do in our company? We love each other. We take care of each other. We practice God all day long. We take care of customers, and it's heaven on earth. You guys can get paid really good in this company and treat each other good. But the problem is, and we're going to do, do something together, okay? I'm gonna, do you want me to train you guys how to be great? I'm going to show you guys how we have to clean the heart. We have to clean the heart. If there's any darkness in his heart, we can't build this. If there's any darkness in your heart, we can't build it. When there's a problem in Elliot Army, every person goes to the person they have the problem with immediately and handles it. No gossiping. No complaining, no whining, no crying. Yes, problem solving. If I got a problem, I go to someone and say, hey, man, I got a problem. Can you help me fix this? If you did something I don't like, I'll go to you and be like, hey, man, you did this thing and I didn't like that. And by the way, you should be like, dude, I respect this motherfucker for coming to me. Because most fucking people that are pussies wouldn't do that. They would walk over here and be like, hey, I want to tell you what he fucking did, man. See, that, that kills this does that make sense and you guys have that going on i know you do there's no there might be a running mate like you two may be good buddies you two may be good buddies but everybody is the buddy does that make sense okay and by the way your goal is to all get so close that you guys can all can push each other every day to see who's better okay so we're going to do something and i'm going to tell you what i do number one every single month First of all, this is Leadership 101. Every month, I have a meeting today at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. today, I have a meeting with my entire company. Not with the people who work in my company, with their spouses. I talk to all the spouses and all the people who work in our company's girlfriends, boyfriends, twice a month. I wanna talk to them. Like, if you have a girlfriend, right? Yeah, you're going to work here with me. That means I'm going to push you to be f***ing great. Guess what? She's important to me too. And she needs to know that I'm trying to build you to be a badass mother Does that make sense? So I need to explain that to her so she don't let you go home and be a f***ing Right? So I'm going to talk to her today, and I'm going to talk to all of them, and I'm going to explain the f***ing standard in which I focus on all day to build you guys. So that when you go home, these standards should be raising. And they should know, your spouses, how to build a badass man or a badass woman. How do you do it? You don't fuck with them when they get home. You build them up. Okay? You want someone to do great? You build them the fuck up. You have to build someone up also at home, not just at work. Matter of fact, if you only build people up at work, but people aren't being built up at home... They're fucking, sh they're trash. Listen, purpose comes from home. 
I know you guys love taking care of customers. I know it. I know it. But you know what you love when you walk in the fucking door and you and your girl are on fire or you and your fucking guy are on fire and you're fucking your kid close to your kids and you're having fun and see now you're smiling and I love being close to my kids. That's your fucking purpose. If you can go home and you have a good night with your kids and you play with them, the next day at work you're going to fucking kill it. But if you don't get those good nights, all of a sudden you get stuck in this fucking success trap. That's like if you just work harder, it'll fix all of your problems. It's not the truth. Matter of fact, if your family's going down the drain and you work harder, your family gets flushed down the drain faster. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, you gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. You guys must build an environment, big picture, long term, in which everyone in this company can sustain a very long, great life here, okay? We, we, we need to build this where people can say, it. I'm gonna be here for 20 years. This is what I want until I retire. I'll be here. And then how do those people treat the organization? Really good, right? Okay. So we're gonna play a game and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Number one, I told you guys that what I do is I have a meeting twice a month with all the spouses. Can you guys do that? Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, if someone comes in and like, I'm just saying like, you got a girlfriend, right? By the way, we'll go back to the hiring process in a minute because like that, that could be a problem, bringing in the wrong people who have a toxic home. Does that make sense? But if your girl's here and I'm like, hey, man, we want to make your husband badass. She's like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't want Dude, like, listen, my number one, he's got to go or she's got to go. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yep. Dude, listen, you're never going to compete with someone that someone's. Do you understand? <laughs> if you're sleeping, you're sleeping with your wife. I can't compete with her. Okay. I can't compete with her. So if I'm telling you one thing and she's telling you another, if she's like, you know what, babe, we don't need to make more money. We're good. You don't need to push harder. And I'm like, we need to push hard. And she's like, no, you don't need to push. He's going home. She's like, don't push. He comes to work. I'm like, push. She's like, don't push. I'm like, push. It doesn't work. And he's like, he can never evolve. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I need to explain to her the value of pushing. Okay, does your wife have a mom and a dad? Yes, okay, if one of them had a fucking heart attack today and it was $250,000 to keep them alive, do you want to have the money in the fucking bank? Yes, yes we got to push. It ain't for the big ass house and car and it's because we need money so we can have choices. And then she's like, oh, I didn't think about that. I'm like, yes. Dude, everything isn't always going to be fucking easy like it is now. Some of you guys have some really hard times coming. And if you don't start paying attention now and that hard time come, dude, if your kid got cancer today or something and you were like, oh my God, and they're like, listen, this is no joke. It's going to be fucking eight grand a day to stay here. Eight grand a day? Yeah. Well, if you don't have it, well, we can't, we can't keep your kid here then. We can't get him better. What the fuck, man? You fucked off four years. You should have been working your ass off so you could take care of your son now. Dude, I see this happen all the time. Okay, dude, and I know this because I just met a flight of my wife's brother who got jumped in Mexico City and we met a flight of him here and took care of him. We spent 500 grand in three weeks keeping him alive. Dude, you need to understand this. Money is <coughs> fake. It's paper. They print it for free. You guys get it? Unlimited amounts of it. But if you want it, you must attract it. My company, they believe in the mission. Every single person in my company, every one of them is wearing Elliot gear right now. Every one of them, when they go to the gym, Elliot. When they go on the weekend, when they go on a date with their wife, Elliot. Dude, their kids, some of them are named Elliot. 
That's more than a name. That's a movement. And that's what we're building here. Okay? Evan Macklin. You know the twins? Yes, sir. Ian Macklin, Evan Macklin. Evan Macklin just had a son, Jackson. His son is Jackson Elliott Macklin. Why? Because this company changed his life. Not just me, the company. You're a part of the company. You guys are a part of the company. But I need to remove any bitterness between any of you. Okay? So the first thing that I do is I talk to the spouses. But what we got to do is because your spouse or your girlfriend, your fucking wife, are you married? Sorry. She's not going to want to change, bro, until she sees change in you. Right? Does that make sense? It's like, dude, like, like you go first and then they follow. Because if you say, hey, I'm going to start changing today. She's like, I fucking heard that before. Okay, but when you don't say anything and you just do it, then they want to become who you become. Then they want to know how you, what you know. My wife was a house mom. I mean, she was in great, like a great business person when we were younger, but then we had kids and my mom was So I'm like, sorry, but I was like, she's an alcoholic, a crackhead. She left when I was two. I want my wife to be the best mom in the world. So I'm like, babe, you can't go to work. You have to stay here with the kids. You have to, but, hey, you have to can raise our kids to be the best, right? And guess what happens? She did. And we have three kids. And then I was 39 years old and I looked up and I realized that I need my fucking wife. I need her. I need her. She's fucking smarter than me. I need her. I've been fucking up the whole time because I've been trying to do it on my own and I hadn't brought her with me. And you know what I did? I started to get fucking serious. I got my health right. I started becoming a really good leader. I started keeping my word. She started seeing a difference in me. My eyes can look different. I was living different. Everything can change, just like you guys are going to do today. And you know what? She goes, dude, I want to go with you. I like this. She goes, I like this guy. This guy I like. You know what? I'm a mom. I'm a great mom. I love my kids, but now I'm going to get in business with you. Let's go. And dude, I'm telling you, she went and got in great shape. She got her mind back in the game instead of talking to little babies all day long, right? She's talking to adults, having a real life conversations. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what happens. She went from stop being the fucking slave in the house to literally now she's a business fucking woman and a savage and she built her whole company. Dude, you have no idea how your spouses will come with you and change when you fucking change. But I didn't run my mouth. People talk, but you got to do shit. Hey guys, looks like you made it to the end of the video. You're the true point zero zero zero. One percenters. Look, I know one percenters, it can make it halfway through the video, but making it all the way through, you guys are the best. Now, here's what I'd like to do. Number one, I want to get closer to you. The fact that you made it all the way through the video, you're like, man, dude, I want to roll with this guy. Okay, so I need to connect with you. Down below, there's a description box on this YouTube video. There's a link. It says coach with me one-on-one, -on -one, okay? If you'll go and you'll enter your information, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You can tell me what you need help with, what your goals are, and we will crush it together. I would love to help you guys go to the next level in life. You can tell I'm changing my life really fast, and I know that you guys want the same thing. I'd love to go with you on that journey. So right now, if you'd like to partner with me, team with me, if you want me to help coach you and push you, everybody needs a coach, a higher level of accountability to go to the next level. Go to the description box below, click on the link, fill out your information. I'll talk to you in the next 24 hours. Let's kill it.